Right, we're going to try and fit in a game of Blitz Chess. Right, 1953, good luck. So we've not played before, we have no head to head score there. Pulling at 12,000 games, that's really impressive. 2120 in Rapid from nearly 2,000 games, so a decent, decent good player here at my level. Um, wait, hmm. A few unnecessary moves, I think. What's his plan? I'm not sure. I mean, I could play a bishop up and try and force the bishop off, actually. That could be sensible. That feels more natural. Okay, you can develop the knight trade trade. Yeah. That bishop could be um, dangerous later in the game. But he spent a number of moves jumping it around, so I'm going to try and force it off. And just up and drop back. I think he might want to go queenside. I'm not sure. He might not, but he might want to. Okay. I'm going to play knight up so one guards the other, then maybe queen up. So he's played forward. So I can check. Do I want to do that? I'm going to throw a check in. Now the knight does guard the bishop and he can drop the bishop back as well. He played the other knight over, so now we've got a chance to take, right? So has he blundered? So if we hit the bishop and the knight can't take back... Yeah, he's mixed his moves up somewhere or other, so what do we do now? We can throw a check in and come back, I guess. We can, well, we can't go there. We could go here, but I think I should just throw a check in and come all the way back and just prepare castling or something. Okay, he's gone there, so I'm just going to play a bishop up to hit the knight. We'd love to trade being a piece up. Once I've castled, everything is going to fly down the board, of course. No, no reason for him not to. So, do I play a knight across? Hmm. I'm going to play a knight across first and get tempo attacking the queen and see where he goes. We might end up retreating the bishop, I'm not sure yet. He's gone back. So queen up looks good here. Just as a principle, we offer the queen trade and we hit the pawn. But he can't go the queen to any of these squares without a trade. Okay, so if we take, I guess we drop back, right? We just need to castle now. I think kingside is fine. It feels fine. Plant the knight. Yeah, he just mixed his move order up somewhere in the opening. But it's hammer to level chess, anything can go wrong any time. Let's get the um, cursor off the board, but let's castle. And I need to play with a reasonable speed, of course, but let's try and open his king's defences up. He'll do the same for me, or try to. I don't know if I can do this and allow everything to fly open. That's a bit risky. But I'm going to try and chuck my pawns. Um, let's go here immediately and see what he does. So can I allow this to happen? I don't see why not, actually. Let's take here. If he goes with a knight, I've got knight forward. Now I can throw a check in. I've got knight forward. I'm going to play knight forward. Then if he comes here, I can take. Here, I can take. Here, I can take. And try and activate the rooks eventually at some point. So I don't think you'll want to trade the rook. Obviously, because we're up a piece, it makes good common sense to try and get pieces off the board if we possibly can. Okay, he's come forward, so we can trade the rook there, so it makes very good sense to do so. Other rook come across and pressure the pawn, so now two attack, two defend. King comes forward, very logical. Hmm. Actually, he's threatening to push and undermine my knight, so that's a slight problem. Here, I guess he goes here. I'm just going to make certain my king's got a bailout square first. Just so I've got a square to run to. No, I say my rook wanders off and he starts getting around the back. Could easily go wrong. Hmm. I'm going to come this way. I think he'll probably go this way. 
I'm just wondering what to do, but I've got knight check and collect if he does, but... Oh, he's traded, what the heck? Ooh, that's very risky. Now that's another pawn. We just need to get the knight off the board now. Get the knight off. That should be a formality, but like I say, amateur games can easily get messed up any time. And I'll see the pawns are quite split here. Oh, he's just had enough. He's resigned. Okay, fair enough. Let's see where he went wrong in the opening. So what have we got? We've got 33 moves, but I think he just mixed his move order up somewhere. It was jumping that bishop around early. And then, obviously, we got that nice queen across with the knight takes. He just forgot something or mixed his moves up. So let's see how the engine says it was actually played. Yeah, so in the opening, we're all completely standard here. And then it's just that simple mistake. And we've managed to convert it very well. We've just maintained a good steady advantage the whole way through. Oh, very, very good. So we played it really well. 98% and a CPL 10. Opponent 85%, CPL 26. But it's just one simple blunder. That's all it was. He's just, apart from that one, one, one simple blunder. You say you just drop the bishop back to block and you get it out of the way. And it's allowed the piece and that's it. That's basically the only simple move in the whole game that the engine has flagged that's not been a really good move. It's literally the only move in the whole entire game from both players. So it's a pretty good game then at our level. So very good.